Hello beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos and today I'm filming an intro after working all day. I just came home and it's around six o'clock at the evening and uh, yeah I'm tired but I'm here because yet this morning I filmed using this product and I want to talk about and show you how it worked the whole day and I did try it a couple of other times but this time my hair is very clean so I wanted to try it on clean hair and compare it to using it on not so clean hair. So I'm talking about this product, this is Hair Feel Hair Finishing Stick. The product that's supposed to pick up these baby hairs, everything that sticks out and make your hair look very nice, shiny, but also keep the hairs in place. And if you want to see how it works and hear more what I think about this product, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I did apply this a uh, couple of days ago and I did apply it this morning and I did try it just to see how, it's, how it works and if it does work or, or how long it works. Now, this product says... It looks like a mascara, let's just say. It looks like a mascara. I think there are different brands of this product going on on Instagram. But it's like a mascara wand. Not if you can see. I mean, nothing special. Product stinks though. Ugh. Chemicals. Not good. But it looks like a gel product. I know you can't really see it. It's see-through. But it, it's like a gel. And it feels like a gel when applied to the hair. You can't see it really. I did have some, uh, because I got some mascara, not mascara, I got some foundation on my hair here. So this morning when I applied it, it looked kind of nasty, but I did remove it very easy. This is how it looks after a couple of hours. It says that it's supposed to be like this. Let me show you. This promises that you can pick up, I don't know if you can see all those hairs, and make it this smooth. So it's a big clean. I can say that that's not true. This is something that you can definitely have with you when you're out somewhere, you have your hair in ponytail, or you're going somewhere and you just want to touch up and you see the hairs. I will insert the clip where I applied this product this morning. So here it comes. And now this is how it looks after a couple of hours. I didn't touch up, I didn't do anything. I tried not to touch my hair. It was a little bit windy and raining outside. So it worked okay. But my issue, like you saw in the video, my issue with this product is that it picks my, my hair up. It sticks into the, in the hair and it's... It's not really so easy to work with. You see, it gets stuck and then I can't take it out and this is what happens. 
And if you use it too much, it will make your hair look oily. Just want to say that. So, I mean, it, it does an okay job. But I prefer using my hairspray. Because this makes your hair look a little bit uh, greasy. Not too much if your hair is clean, but it does make it look greasy. Though I used it when my hair wasn't that clean like it, it was this morning. And it works better for picking up the baby hairs and all the hairs flying around. So it does better job because my hair is kind of oily. And then it worked better, but it made it look more greasy than I would like it to. So I think it, this is a cute idea. Definitely maybe have in my bag and touch up if I feel like I need. But I don't think that I'm going to run out and uh, buy more of this. I don't think it's a bad, bad product, but I just don't think it delivers what it promised. Definitely you can't pick up this much hair in a bump like with this because I tried that and my hair stuck in this little um, applicator and then I went tried to remove it, it just made a mess so I don't know I don't think it's worth purchasing I definitely think hairspray works better but of course it's not bad that I'm going to use it I don't think it does work but it doesn't work as I so you as I thought it would. I thought it going to make everything. If you well, if you watch those these videos on Instagram or or on other website, it looks amazing. It looks so easy. It looks flawless. The hair looks so smooth afterwards. Everything looks beautiful. Not so much in real life. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not a wow factor either. So, I mean, it's up to you if you want to invest and try this product. I mean, I don't think it's bad, bad, like I said, like a hundred times right now. It's not bad, bad, but it's not also something that I'm going to repurchase. But the good thing about this one is that it says what it, the ingredients list. It has silica, beeswax, jojoba oil, uh, primrose oil, chamomile oil, sorbitol, on a couple of other products, shea butter extract, and other products that I really can't pronounce. I mean, it's nothing, um, uh, it's good that it that it has in, in instructions and it, that it has the ingredients list. Let me know down below if you try this product or if you're interested to try this product and uh, what do you think about it. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. I hope this was a very short video, guys, a very short preview, but I hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and i see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.